Hey everybody, it's Samantha. If you see my reviews, you know that I um, post a couple every week of new products that I've received on our Top Dog Tips website as well as our Top Dog Tips YouTube page. Um, and you can also find us, sorry, YouTube channel, and you can also find us on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Google Plus, so it's all of our social media. So if you're interested in product reviews, make sure you follow us and keep up to date with those. This week I have a product for you called the Spot Collar. It's from a company called Dog Sync. And um, what it is, you're probably first of all wondering why I'm sitting on my kitchen floor next to the trash can. Uh, it's not a normal place that people usually sit to film videos. So I'm sitting here and you can see this little white device here on the side of our trash can. Hi, Chloe. Um, this is the spot collar and this is the little device that it comes with. Go on, Chloe. I know you need to be on camera, but you're not going to be today. Uh, so this is the spot collar. It's, it comes, this little device is attached to the collar. Um, it's a rubbery type of collar. So uh, the only thing that I did worry about was um, that it would be kind of um, not sticky, but it would sort of grab your dog's uh, fur because it's rubber. Uh, our little puppy, Molly, who is a Beagle Cocker Spaniel Mix, we are training her right now. And um, she wore this for weeks and never never had any trouble. Um, I watched her neck a lot to see if um, like any of the hair was falling off, if she was getting any like little bald spots or anything like that. And, and after weeks of using it, she was like, well, go on, I know. Um, after weeks of using it, it seemed to be fine for her. So that was a worry that I had because of the material, but um, it, it doesn't seem to be an issue. So um, I was impressed with that. Now, the spot collar goes onto your dog. Um, one thing I will tell you right now, this is um, about a 13 inch collar. It does come with, um, you can replace this side, just, just unclip this one, clip this shorter piece on um, if you have like a teacup size dog but it doesn't come with a bigger size. So if your dog has a neck above 13 inches, this isn't gonna work for you. Um, keep in mind that this is a training collar, so it's made for puppies. Um, if you have adopted an older dog or you're uh, late on your training or you've tried other training methods and now you're finally getting around to the spot collar, just make sure to measure your dog's neck. If it's any more than 13 inches, this product isn't gonna work for you. So um, that's one drawback if you have a larger breed dog, for example, um, you know, our, our boxer collie that you just saw, it would not fit her. Um, we do have a chocolate lab, if you've seen some of my reviews, who uh, we are still working with training. Um, she's less than a year old, but because she's a large breed, um, the spot collar would work for her. So We did use it for Molly. Um, Molly is not going to be a very big dog when she gets older, so this is something that you could use on a small breed dog uh, as an adult, or even a small or medium breed, maybe like a beagle. Um, you could you could use with them uh, even as adults. So um, something to keep in mind if you do have a larger breed. So anyway, you have the little device here that there's a black button on the top that turns it on, and um, there are. Whoops! I think I just turned it off. Yep, I have it turned off, and I turn it off. Um, so you have the collar, and then you also have um, this little device, which there's a 3M sticky piece on the back of it, so you can stick it anywhere. If you have a garden trash can, um, you don't want your dog on the sofa. If there's an area of your house, like a certain room that your dog's always going in and, and messing in or something like that, any area that you want to keep him out of, you um, put the spot collar, say for example, it's a doorway. Um, sorry, it's a room. So you're going to stick this right on the doorway going in. Um, you're going to stick it near your sofa. You're going to stick it to the trash can. Whichever area you don't want your dog to go in, you stick it there. Um, so you then put the spot collar, obviously, around your dog's neck. And um, on this, there's, the again, the black button that turns it on and off. So um, there's two different modes that you can have it on. There's one button. There's one bump, sorry, here, and then there's two bumps here, and there's a light that um, that turns on when you when you turn them on. If it's near um, the the little the one little bump, the first setting, the setting is going to be 35, uh, sorry, 30 to 50 centimeter radius, and then if it's near the two bumps, it's going to be a 70 to 100 centimeter um, radius. The 
bottom of this pulls out. There's a battery in here. Um, it's one of those round batteries that you can pick up at any um, any store. Now I can't remember which way I put it in. I think it was this way. Anyway, you can pick them up at any department store. If it doesn't, um, if it does run out of batteries, you can replace those pretty easily. So, um, whoops. Maybe I did. Oh, no, there's the light. So um, the one is going to be this, the shorter radius, 30 to 50, and then if you hit it again, it's going to light up that second one, and that's going to be the 70 to 100. So your dog can be a little bit further away um, or get a little bit closer, depending on what you're doing. Um, and then this little holder is the one that sticks on, so you can easily replace the battery. You're going to do this. Now, I'm sitting really close to this. So there's a button on the top of the collar. We're too close to it. Um, there's a button on the top of the collar that turns it on. There's a little blue indicator light that will um, turn on so you know that it's on and you know that this is charged. Um, and then when your dog gets too close to this device, it vibrates, if you can hear that, and it beeps until your dog leaves and then it, it stops. So your dog learns that he's coming into the radius of whatever it is, um, and that's a no-no. No near the trash can, no near their sofa, no near our certain room, whatever, your garden, if he digs up your garden. Um, so that's a, a great feature. Um, and then I'm actually just going to... Hopefully shut this off. Okay, so I shut this off, um, but, oh, no, I didn't. I have to hold it down for longer. Again, a blue little indicator light um, turns on to let you know that it's off. This collar part is rechargeable, um, and you just plug it in right here, and then it, there's a USB, sorry, it's upside down. And then there's a USB connector. You don't, it doesn't come with a little USB port. Most of us have one of those kicking around because our cell phones or tablets or things use those. Um, and this, this cable is fairly short, so you're gonna have to be close to it um, when you're charging it, but no, not a big deal. Um, on a full charge, this is gonna last about 20 days. If you keep it on full time, I take mine off of Molly at night um, because she sleeps, she wore crate training. We're crate training her and she sleeps in a crate, um, so there's no reason to put it on her at night. So I take it off of her, shut it off, um, and then it lasts us over a month on one charge. So that's really great. Um, so this is the spot collar. Again, it's from a company called Dog Sync. This is a new um, product, and I will have all the ordering information for you in the written um, review on our site, so make sure you check that out. Um, again, if you're following us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our page because I post new product reviews as well as giveaways um, multiple times a week, so you can follow those. Also, um, be sure to check out our website, topdogtips.com, if you're interested in any products. If you guys have any recommendations or if you have any products that you'd like to see that I haven't reviewed yet, um, even if, like, say, for example, you want to see some type of a training collar, and I've, even though I've already reviewed the spot collar, um, send me a message. Let me know the specific collar that you're looking for or um, if you're looking for a dog brush or things like that that I haven't reviewed before, let me know. Send an email at samantha at topdogtips.com. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have about the spot collar or any of the other um, products that I've reviewed. So be sure to either send us a message on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Um, you can leave a comment on our website. You can send me an email. Either way, anything that you do will get back to me, and I will be happy to assist you in any way that I can. So I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I will be back later on this week with another great product review. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.